Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show how to mount the MPSC position sensor from SIG and will present the teach in options of the sensor using the touchpad. Mounting. The sensor can be easily mounted by inserting the sensor from the top into the C slot of the cylinder. There is no need to slide it in from the side. Take an Allen key and fix the two screws. When the sensor is powered up and the outputs are connected to an ampere meter, the precise piston position is represented by the analog output. The yellow LED shows that a magnetic field is registered in range. Teach in measuring range. The following adjustment steps are described in the quick start guide, which is delivered together with the sensor as well as the detailed user manual. To teach in the desired measuring range, Move the piston to the start position of the desired measuring range. Now press the keypad shortly and then hold the keypad for less than 2 seconds. This takes a little practice. If the keypad is tried to unlock incorrectly, the pad is locked for 3 seconds. After releasing the finger, the yellow LED starts flashing with 2 Hz and the start of the measuring range is set. Now push the piston to the end of the measuring range and press the keypad once again. The yellow LED stops flashing and the end of the measuring range is set. The analog output now gives a 4 to 20 mA signal in the set range. Selecting current and voltage output. So far the current output was used. The MPSC sensor allows selecting between current and voltage output on the same pin which is pin 2. In order to change from current to voltage, Press the keypad and then hold the keypad for 5 to 8 seconds until the green and the blue LED flash slowly. Lift your finger. As the current output was used before, the blue LED flashes. In order to change the output to voltage, press the keypad again and the LED changes from blue to green. The green LED means that the voltage output is active now and the sensor provides a 0 to 10 volt signal in the set range. By pushing the keypad, one can switch between the current and the voltage output. To confirm any of the two outputs, select the color representing the desired output and hold the keypad for about 2 seconds. The operating LED lights up permanently in the color of the selected output. Inverting the analog output. For some applications or mounting situations, it is necessary to invert the output. To do so, press the keypad and hold it for 9 to 11 seconds. The green and the blue LEDs start flashing quickly. Now remove your finger. The analog value is now inverted. Teaching digital switching outputs, single point mode. The MPSC offers three different switching output behaviors that can be set via the keypad. The first option is the single point mode. The single point mode defines a switching point. From this point to the cable end of the sensor, the switching output is low and to the opposite direction, the switching output is active. For setting the switching point, move the piston to the desired switching point. Press the keypad and hold the keypad between 11 and 15 seconds. The blue status LED flashes slowly. Now lift the finger and then hold the keypad for less than 3 seconds until the yellow and the blue status LEDs flash slowly. Lift your finger and the switching point is defined. The switching output is now active from the set point to the side of the sensor which is opposite of the cable. Cylinder switch mode. This mode defines a switching point with a hysteresis around the switching point. This mode is similar to what we are used to from standard cylinder sensors. To set the switch point, push the piston in the desired position. Press the keypad and then hold the keypad between 11 and 15 seconds. The blue status LED flashes slowly. Lift your finger and then hold the keypad between 3 and 6 seconds. The green operating LED and the blue status LED flash slowly. The switching point is set as soon as you lift your finger. Window mode. 
When using the window mode, a window between an upper and a lower threshold is defined. The switching output is active when the piston is located between the two thresholds. In order to set the first threshold, move the piston into the first position. Press the keypad and hold the keypad between 11 and 15 seconds. The blue status LED flashes slowly. Now lift the finger and then hold the keypad between 6 and 9 seconds. Lift your finger and the first threshold is set. The green and the yellow LEDs flash slowly. Push the piston to the second position for setting the second threshold. Press the keypad. The second threshold is defined and the sensor is now detecting the piston between the two thresholds. If you would like to know more about the io -Link possibilities, click on this tutorial. We hope you like the tutorial and see you next time.